Okay, so in this exercise, we're going to open this document and we're going to do everything the document says. All right, so this is the heading, random skills in Google Docs. So first things first, set the line above to this one to title and then delete this line of text. So how do we do that? First, we make sure we click on this row or this line, go up to styles and we just select title, done. Then delete this line of text. Easy done. Select it, delete it. Let's delete that too. This is heading one. Okay, set the line above to heading one and delete this line of text. So we just click on that. We don't have to highlight it. We just need to click anywhere on that line. Let's choose heading one. Let's just get rid of some of these extra gaps too. And then we can delete that. This is just normal text, leave it alone. Okay. This is another heading one heading. Set the line above to heading one as well, then delete this. Okay, so just click in there, heading one. Done. This is normal text, but change it to italics. So in this case, we have to actually highlight all of them and change that to italics. Now, the way I did that was just three clicks, or you can drag it like that. So we've set the line above to italics, right, we can delete that. This is heading two. Set the line above to heading two, then delete this, okay. With these ones, we don't have to double click or we don't have to highlight, we just need to be on the line. Heading two. Delete that. All right, this one says, go up to the insert menu and insert a drawing. Draw me a simple stick figure saying hello in a speech bubble, then delete this section of text. Okay, so we go up to the insert menu. We've got drawing here. We've got all sorts of things we can insert, but we just want to insert a drawing. If we've got one already, we can use it, but we want to go new. And it brings up this drawing box. Now we're doing a stick figure with a hello in a call out. So let's get a line. That one. Let's draw a line. Once we've drawn it, we can change the thickness if we want to. If I want to move something, I can just use the arrow key on my keyboard. If I want to use fine movements, I can use the shift key. And that will move things a little bit more carefully. Uh, right, we need a head. So under here, we've got a whole heap of shapes. I'm just going to grab that smiley face there. It'll do. Pick a color. And I can thicken this up too. And I can even change the mouth to a sad face if I want to. But no, I'll make him happy. If I want to move things, I can just grab it with the selection tool here and just move that around like that. And I want him to say hello. So let's go to our callouts. Let's grab a round one. Draw that. Grab the little yellow thing to move that to his, towards his mouth. And I don't need to put a text box over the top. I can just double click and type in hello like that. I can even change the font to something a little bit more interesting. And three dots gives me more options. Choose your own font for this. You can center it like that. Blue's a boring color. Let's pick something a bit more interesting. And let's thicken that up a bit. Save and close. Okay, and there's my drawing. Now once my drawing's in there, I can do things like wrap text break text and I can go back and edit. If I go wrap text, see what that does? I can resize things too. I can move things where I want to. But if I put it in in line, it'll sit it literally on whatever line of text I am working with. I can sit it in the middle like that. And it just sits on the line. Not ideal. 
So I'm just going to go wrap text and put it up here somewhere. And I want you to see if you can do the same. Make it a bit smaller, put it up there. Get rid of some gaps. Not too many. Can delete that now. Right, now go back up to the first heading. Oh, so the first heading one and change the color to dark red bold and the font to cavern sketch to size 24. We're going up to that and we're going to go to 24 and the font to cavern sketch. Now I've got cavern sketch here in mine. You may not, but if you click on more fonts, can actually type in type in the name and you can select it so what we're looking for is the cabin sketch okay oh dark red and bold okay so we click on bold that one there and dark red lots of dark reds I'm gonna go with that one keep the cursor on your new red heading so just keep the cursor there on the heading somewhere then go to heading one in the menu and update heading one to match. So we go up to heading one, we go over to update heading one to match. So what that's going to do is it's going to change this. I'll show you. Now this is also the same color as that. And you'll notice now that that has actually updated heading one to match what I changed this to. Let me delete that section. Now click on the image icon and search the web for a picture of a funny cat. So we go up to image, click on image. There's a lot of options here. You can actually take a photo of yourself and put it in. Uh, let's search the web though. So you can just type in whatever you're looking for. Oh, it's pretty big. Will we leave it that size? Now let's make it smaller. And notice how, again, by default, it is sitting in line. So let's go wrap text. So now I can actually just move it to wherever I want. All right, I'm just going to see it there. Okay, a bit bigger. If I want to, I can actually put a border around that as well. All right, we delete that. Okay, next, click on tools and voice typing. Add a few lines of text with your voice, then delete this line of text. So we go up to Tools, Voice Typing, click on that, and this appears. You may, for the first time, you may get asked if the um, if it can use your microphone, that sort of thing. Just say yes to everything. So we click, and now I can say whatever I want, and Google Docs will type what I say because it's pretty good at doing that sort of thing. Full stop, new line. Oh, look, it even does a new line. Cool, full stop, new line. And then click to turn it off. And sometimes it doesn't quite get it right, but it's usually pretty good. So I'll just delete that bit. And I'm just going to check my spelling and so on, because that's what you do, and that's pretty good. And I'm just going to put here after it voice typing and bold that just so that I remember what it was. I've learned so much about word processing using Google Docs in this activity. Keep the above line of text there if it is true for you and then delete this line of text. Done. And that is it. So your finished document should look something like this. If it does, it looks a bit funny, but if it does, you've done a great job. If not, maybe you messed up some way or missed something I should say. Always go back in the video and have a look and see what you might have done wrong. Either way, hopefully you've learned something useful in this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.